Today I'm 21 months sober from cocaine. 21 months sober. Uh, that's a huge, 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 huge thing. If you want me to make some videos talking about my sobriety, I I'm more than happy to. Let me know in the comments. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I filmed a video earlier on doing a bit of an update Q&A. My camera died before I actually got into the full on update. Now I've charged my camera up. I'm going to finish filming now. I just thought I'd film a bit of an intro to give a bit of a justification as to why this video is a bit choppy and all over the place. you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and today i'm doing an update video obviously you can see i'm out of hospital so this is a post hospital update video slash q and a it is all in all i'm doing a hell of a lot better than i was i'm obviously not in hospital anymore which you know major major plus today i decided that i wanted to do a video where i answer questions about what you guys want to know about what post-hospital me is up to and how things are. So the first thing is, are you, how's the move going? So I'm actually moving in a week, one week, and I move. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. In one week I won't be living in London anymore. I'm super excited about the move and you best believe that I'm recording it because I 100% am. So the first question is, how are you coping after being in, in and out of hospital for two months? A lot better than I was. The last two weeks that I was in hospital, I was under a section. I honestly feel a lot better right now than I did before. I want to be alive. I'm looking forward to things in the future, which is more than I could say about me a few weeks ago. The next question is your plans after being discharged. So my plans are to I move in a week, I want to get a job and I just want to work on myself and be well and be stable and hopefully have no more hospital admissions. How do you honestly feel about the whole situation? I have a lot of feelings about everything that went on. About the attempt, I'm still a bit... It's, it's hard to comprehend how bad things actually got for me to do what I did. So that's... That's still hard to come to terms with. About being discharged, I feel very confident that I can keep myself safe and out of hospital. I have plans for the future. Fingers crossed and let's just keep going. Are you living back with your parents now? No. Do you have any life plans and future ambitions? So long term, uh, obviously I graduate this year. I want to get a job this year. I want to start working. Not necessarily in work on my degree and I want to start my postgrad degree. I want to keep going, I want to keep fighting, I want to keep being me. Being in and out of hospital is a really, really hard situation. Especially with in a hospital, you don't know when you're going to get transferred, if you're going to get transferred, how long you're going to be there, you don't know any of that. I actually filmed a mini update video while I was in hospital and I'll play that clip for you now. So, changing my plan for the day, um, I'm getting transferred ward, which is fine, it just means that I'm not going to have my leave. And I'm going to a ward that was a pretty horrific journey. So, I'm probably going to be turning them back to YouTube to cope. But anyway, let's pack up my things anyway. So the transfer will begin. My camera died. The clips you just saw were an update from when I was in the hospital and I was getting transferred and 
The transfer terrified me. I was so convinced that I wouldn't be able to be discharged because I was aiming for the discharge that week and I was doing really well. I was working really hard on myself and I was putting so much effort into trying to be the best I could be to be discharged. I was so scared that getting transferred undid all that because when I got, tra when I got transferred, I lost my leave. The, the new ward wouldn't let me have leave. And I was so convinced that all the work and all the effort that I'd put in had just gone out the window and that I was going to be in hospital for another few weeks trying to rebuild up what I'd already built up and it scared me a lot. You know, it was a really scary time. Like I said, when you're in a hospital, you don't know what's going to happen because you're not in control of things. And it, being in a hospital is something I talk about quite a lot because I've spent a lot of time in the last few years inpatient. Being in a hospital is a scary experience. It doesn't matter how many times you go in. Every time you go in, it's intimidating. And it takes time to get used to it. And it takes time for you to start working on yourself. It doesn't just happen the moment you step through the door. The moment you step through that door you're terrified, you don't know what's going to happen next, you don't know where you're going to end up. The morning I got told, oh you're being transferred, I had already come up with a plan for that day that I was going to go on leave and go to a shop and try and get out for a bit and just work myself and then I got someone came in and it was like, we're transferring you today and it just flipped my whole day and it scared me because I was like, all I was thinking is, this is going to ruin everything that I've worked on. It's a scary time. When I had my ward round on the second ward when I'd been transferred, I didn't know that I was going to get discharged. I was, I went into it not really knowing what was going to happen. Of course my aim was still to try and get discharged and obviously I did get discharged discharge but when I went in I was so anxious because I had no clue what this, this consultant was going to say and the consultant was lovely and listened to everything I had to say and worked with what the doctor on the previous ward had been working on with me which was a discharge and discharged me that day and that was the best feeling ever he told her we're, we're going to discharge you off your sex section today it's the best feeling in the world and I can't explain that. Since coming out of hospital, I found that I'm trying to just stick to a schedule. I'm sticking to the times that I took my medication on the ward. I'm sticking to a medication time schedule. I'm trying to stick to a routine. I'm trying to do stuff in the day that I was doing on the ward. I'm trying to make sure I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. I'm trying to make sure that I'm ready to move next week. I'm trying to make sure that I don't relapse. I feel like I'm trying so hard at the minute and I don't think I can sit and explain that to a camera. Like how hard I'm trying and working on myself at the moment. Like I'm finding filming videos really hard at the minute. I'm finding it really anxiety provoking. Well since coming out of hospital I've been doing okay. And I'm safe. And that's what matters to me. So yeah, this is the life update. This is how things are. There's nothing big or dramatic going on. I'm keeping myself safe and getting ready to move. To go for quite a big move, actually. Tomorrow I'm seeing my psychiatrist. The last time, which... That'll be emotional. Because this psychiatrist has helped me so much. Over the last two years. So it's going to be emotional. But I know this move is what's right for me. It's the right time to move. And it, the only way I can move on is to drop my life here and move away. It's the only way I can pick myself back up. And saying that is, it, it is scary. And you can probably tell that there's some anxiety in me about that. But... It's the right decision. I want to say thank you to my patrons and thank you to people who support me on my other social media. If you don't follow me, follow me over on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. 
That's why I'm most active. Anyone who supports this channel and supports me and supports anything that I do, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me. Like I said, thank you to everyone who has supported me through everything that's been going on. Your support is so valuable and I can't explain to you how much it means to me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Peace.